I started because I saw the seniors being mistreated, disrespected. They was afraid to leave their home. They was afraid that they would be put out. So me, I started asking questions. I asked how could I start a, a, a senior association? Because they needed to fight back and because they, need, they had a right. And there was many seniors that was afraid to come to go to the office. And so I started off being president, but I had to step down because at that time I was working with LAMCO, who was the company that owned this. So I couldn't do LAMCO and be a part of uh, the, the association at the same time. So I quit and became their president. So as president, it's been one year today. We're having a barbecue uh, for the association here. It's PSA, the Associate Residents Association, that we help the residents and advocate for them. The LAMCO um, owners, they have several bu buildings in Long Beach, and sometimes things are not the way it should be for the seniors. And we need changes because a lot of times uh, agencies or our business don't, um, they don't have any sensibility of what the seniors need, okay? So that's what we're here for. And we're having a barbecue along with the other two buildings that uh, LAMCO owns. And so we get a join together so we all can know each other in the different communities that we live in. What we did one day, I said, let's have a barbecue. And uh, when we were over here, because we also helped start this resident organization here. I used to be president of the Plymouth West uh, resident organization, a tenant organization. And so uh, we got these people started here. And uh, one day we were here and I suggested a barbecue and it came off really well. We have several buildings now that uh, have come to join us in this thing, and we also have uh, DSA here, and a lot of young people. Myself and Mike uh, Belus were at the uh, Senior Tenants Barbecue um, to start to show our solidarity with the seniors who have been organizing their buildings in Long Beach. I believe that our partners uh, that we're in coalition with and have worked pretty closely with uh, over the past few months, Libre, uh, have been involved in helping those buildings. Peg Hennessy and her partner Harry have also been trying to uh, facilitate the development of a senior tenant alliance. We're starting a new organization also, which is sort of like an umbrella organization of tenant organizations. Uh, like I said, we started this one here in uh, Providence Gardens. We've started one in Del Amo Gardens. We started one at Park Pacific Towers. Um, and uh, this is a continuing effort to bring all senior tenants together and actually all tenants. There is almost zero percent affordable housing in Long Beach. And a lot of people are being um, evicted. They can't find housing. Um, there's a great article written up uh, a few uh, weeks ago in the LA Times on the housing crisis in Long Beach by um, a writer, Andrew Corey. It sort of shed for the first time, you know, a, a, a spotlight on the housing crisis here in Long Beach. 
myself and other housing committee members envision uh, the role of DSA. We envision ourselves as a source of support and uh, to help aid organizers in facilitating the development of a tenant alliance and to help educate them about very important issues coming up such as um, Proposition 10, which is a bill that's going to be voted on this November to repeal ha Costa Hawkins, which is a huge barrier to rent control and just cause eviction in Long Beach and California State in general. Uh, and beyond that, also hopefully achieving legislation in the 2020 election cycle that is rent control and that is just cause eviction. In order, in order to really accomplish that, um, we need allies. We need the community to come together and to work together um, so that way uh, we can see more just and equitable housing for all people in California, in Long Beach, in our communities. <laughs>